Okay. So this is a C program. So what it says that basically, <coughs> this is a function given. Mystery is a function. This function accepts two arguments, uh, two pointed to an integer. Okay, PTR A, PTR B, and temp is a again pointed to an integer. And what it does, temp store PTR B, PTR B is equal to PTR A, and PTR A is equal to temp. It means that it is swapping the pointers. Okay, so this function, what it it is doing basically, it is swapping the pointers. This point is very much clear. Okay, it is not swapping the content because you can see we are not accessing the memory locations. We are just swapping the local pointers. Okay, now see the further code. Okay, in the main function there are four variables A, B, C, D, and the value is two thousand sixteen zero four and forty two. And first we are calling mystery with m percent A, m percent B, and if A less than C, then this is the second call. Otherwise this is the next call. Okay, it's like an Only one statement is available inside it, and then after we are printing the value of a, and they are asking what is the output of the program. Okay, so let me store these values first. So suppose if a is available at some address 1000, and the value it is holding 2016. B is available at some address 2000, and the value it is having c. C is available at address suppose 3000, and the value it is having is 4, and d is available. At address 4000, and the value it is having is 42. Okay, so the first time, um, suppose if this is the stack, so the very first activation record is corresponding to the function main, and all these are the local variables. So all these variables will get storage in the activation record of main function. Okay, now. The control comes to the statement that is a function call, and now let me call the function. So from the main, a function will be called mystery, and in the mystery, what we are doing? In the mystery, we are passing two arguments. One is m percent a address of a. What is the address of a? One thousand. Come on, what is the address of b? Two thousand. Okay. So this is called uh, basically call by pointer. Okay. So now. The control goes to the mystery function. In this mystery function, PTR A and PTR B are two local pointers, and these two local pointers are receiving 1000 and 2000, and these two local pointers are available at some address. Suppose if their address is 5000, at which PTR A is available, which is having, which is holding basically 1000, and PTR B is available at address 6000, which is holding 2000. Okay. Similarly, there is another temporary pointer which is called temp. Suppose it is available at some address seven thousand. As of now, it is not having any value. Just forget about the initial value. Okay. Now, what the statement says that? Now, let me go to the code back. The statement says that temp is equal to PTRB. We know that PTRA is holding one thousand, and PTRB is holding two thousand. So the first statement says that temp is equal to PTR B. So according to this, temp will become 2000, and then after PTR B is equals to PTR A. So PTR A is containing 1000. So PTR B will hold 1000, and after this, PTR A is equal to temp, and temp is equal to 2000. So PTR A is equal to 2000. So these three statement will do these changes, and after this, the function is over. And you can see we have we have not changed these memory locations at all. Whatever changes you are doing, the changes are basically you are doing on the local copies of the pointers. Okay, fine. Now, now the control comes back in the main function, and when you will come back, there is no change over the memory location. Now you will check the next statement. If a less than c, what is the value of a? Two thousand sixteen is less than four. No, this is false. If this is false, so this statement will not execute. This statement will not execute. The control comes to the next statement: mystery m percent a m percent d. Okay. Now this time, this function call will be made in the same manner as the previous one. And also, you know that uh, the same effect will be here. You will not do any changes over the memory because the function that you are executing is having the same code. So even you can ignore it. There is no use of uh, calling the function. Actually, it will be called, but there uh, there is no changes being done. Okay. And after that, you are printing the value of a. So the value of a will remain intact. Okay, there is no change over the value of a, and the value of a is as of now 2016. So in this uh, in this question, the point was only this code basically. Okay, this code is not changing 
the memory locations which are available in the previous function. It is just changing the local points. Okay, that, that is the only difference. Okay, just make sure about this, and the answer is uh, 2016.